Let me breathe for a little bit. Welcome, all of you guys, back to another brand new episode of a show learning English. What's supposed to say? Oh, I'm stuck in here. Yeah, wearing my tie with the little stuck in here. Will be easy for me to breathe out. Okay? But hope everything is still good for me. It is good being with you. It is a very good thing for me. To do for the whole week. Oh my God. Um, did you see me yesterday? Um, uh, you saw on the show. You did, and uh, I received a oh my God, a the a, a very expensive award. It is as expensive as the Golden Boot, but it is still. Maybe like um a little more percentage than higher, higher than the good boot because it is the red boot. Different. What? It is red. Yeah, basically it's the color. But that was just the um prize for the best commentator and was handed to me. Uh, by um another version of me. Um, wow, just a reminder one more time. That person who tells me who gave that uh red book to me wasn't me or wasn't my uncle. Okay, none of them. I was the person who received that, not the person who gave. That to me, okay. Different. Oh, folks. Um, only tomorrow's left. Tomorrow's left. Then we'll have a wonderful, lovely weekend. Um, they just waiting for us. Just one day. Yeah. Still till tomorrow. Just get through tomorrow. Then get through everything, right? And oh. Uh, So um back to the show tonight. It is the unit three C. We're gonna learn about culture. Talk about young and old. So um you can see on the screen um that's the lesson we're about to learn tonight. Open the books into page number twenty nine. Oh my god, it is a little quick, right? Remember our first day when we did the show. Um page number one. Now page number twenty nine. What a great time! Uh huh. So now let's do the three C culture about young and old. Uh, page twenty nine now, folks, and we're gonna take a look at the picture. Uh, right on the screen, very clear. Oh, uh, those are the um granddad and grandmoms of someone, no? Look at the photo. What is the unusual thing about the band? Have the Zimmers. Okay, so that is the band, uh, the Zimmers. So they call themselves the Zimmers Rock, as they are holding a the uh, card right over there. Um, the unusual thing, as you can see by clearly by your eyes, that is they are. Oh, okay. They're not young, and um, to be a part of a band like that, uh, they just want to be. They want to make themselves look younger. Maybe I think so. Uh, we will read a text below, uh, talking about my generation. So we're gonna take a quick look uh, about what is the story about. And what's happening in the picture, and why do they tell us to 
uh, discuss about it. Okay, so then we can move on to the next parts of the exercises. Okay, so now let's read with me of talking about my generation. Oh, in the recording studios in Abbey Road in London, it is business as usual. The band members stamp and grow and sing at the tops of their voices the famous song, My Generation. Except the Zimmers are not your average band. This group, this group has 40 members. Can you believe it? A group, a group is a band. Yeah, a band. A band you may usually see on TV, maybe just around uh, four or five. Maybe, um, maybe nine because they call it the Zero Nine. I didn't had a chance to talk about that because that 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 thing that stupid thing happened during the time when my show off and we didn't have a chance to talk about that. So um, okay, zero and nine. Okay, they are so silent these days. Never mind. I'm gonna talk. Maybe some later shows. You cannot escape up anywhere. You zero nines. Zero brain, okay. Um, aka zero brain, okay. That's okay. Uh -huh. Except that the Zimmers are not your average band. This group has forty members, a lot, a lot of attitude, and a combined age of three thousand. So they must be very old. Combined together, yeah. And you know math, right? It is math. The man growling angrily into the mic. Reading glasses on the false teeth out is the lead singer, 90-year-old Alfie Coretta. And crushing about uh, on the keyboards and singing like a mad thing is white-haired Win Winifred, Winifred Warburton, 99. And the guy in the beard bashing the, the drums is Buster Martin at the age of 101. He's the oldest working man in Britain. When their video was released on the internet site YouTube, it attracted more than 2 million hits in Fortnite. Since then, they have had countless interview requests from the media in over 50 countries, including jetting off to California to appear on The Tonight with Jay Leno show alongside with George Clooney. It all started with a project by BBC documentary maker Tim Samuels. I set out to make a program exploring how we treat old people in the country, he said. So many are dumped in homes, stuck on their own, brushed under the carpet, and marginalized. So he visited shabby care homes, isolated tower blocks to find old people willing to join in a band. Tim said that I wanted to give him a, give them a voice and what better way than to get them in the pop charts. This would say they are old but they are not past it. Mm. Um, for Winifred, Buster and Alfie, life will never be the same again. The whole experience has brought me back to life exclaimed Alfie when I met him for tea and biscuits at the his North London flat. I was stuck in the rut and now I feel alive again. Oh, we have read through the text about their generation. And um that was great because um Tim ah uh, no not the guy uh, the what what is the Tim Samuels. Um he wanted to make a documentary on BBC, um, talk about the old generation, the past generation, and um, to explore uh, how they treat old people in the country. And uh, a lot of people are stuck and didn't have the chance to go to the public, so they wanted to. Uh, he wanted to give them a voice, so. That's how their career started. We'll be right back to the next part of the show. We're going to do the exercises after this break. <laughs>